Hi, this is Alan True from 24-7 Sports, and thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel for this live special announcement as one of the top athletes in the country and in the Midwest is set to announce his college commitment, and that is Fort Wayne Northside's Bronte Johnson, better known to his friends and family as Tay-Tay. We are going to bring him in live very soon from Traction AP in Fort Wayne, but to set the stage, he is a top 200 player nationally he is a top 15 athlete a four-star prospect and a guy who's played two sides of the ball since his freshman year and at 24 7 sports we've made a concerted effort because a lot of high school football players play both sides of the ball to not just throw the athlete label on every single player who plays offense and defense we want those that label to go to guys who can legitimately play on either side of the ball in college and bronte has been recruited on both sides of the ball equally. He was a dynamic wide receiver and return man right away his freshman year. He's now shown that he can play defensive back at the power five level. Just an outstanding athlete who has uh, also been a standout on the basketball court. You talk to people who have seen him play basketball and they firmly believe he could play college basketball. He's averaged over 20 points a game on the hardwood. I believe he had an early offer his freshman year from IUPUI. So he's a guy who's just an outstanding athlete with length, ball skills, and the ability to play on either side of the ball come college. And that's why he's been pursued by so many different schools around the country. 19 total offers to his name, but he's going to get set to choose one very soon. And he's narrowed his list down to Purdue, Tennessee, and Notre Dame. Those are the three finalists there. So you have two schools inside the state of Indiana and then an SEC program down in Tennessee that has been recruiting him hard. So we will now go out to Fort Wayne and Traction AP, where he's trained a facility that has had many top athletes come through its doors over the years and has several of them now, including Tay Tay. We're going to bring him in and he's going to let us know where he's going to go to college. Tay, thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. Um, so first uh, on your special day here, why don't you introduce us to the room? Let us know who else you're joined by. Uh, I got my, my mom, my dad, my brothers, my grandma and my sister right here. They are with me. Yeah, they're with you today. Kind of talk about why you chose to share the day with them and how much they've meant to your process and bringing you to this point in your life. Um, yeah, this is definitely this is definitely a day I had to share with you know my family members because you know they're the only ones who who've been here with me since since I was little, since I was growing up, going through everything I went through. They was the ones who was always here and always pushing me to get better, no matter what. And as I mentioned, you've been on the radar for a long time since your freshman year. Uh, what has the recruiting process been like for you? Was it a tough decision? And, and what were some of the things maybe that you enjoyed about being recruited? Um, one thing I could really just say, I enjoy um, meeting tons of great coaches across the country, seeing great venues, great stadiums and places, you know, all across the country that I've never been to. And, um, you know, it was really, it was really, a tough decision for, for sure. But once I got it narrowed down, you know, I'm a hundred percent with my decision right now. All right. It sounds like you are, are very sure. So without any further delay, why don't you let us know where you're going to be playing your college football and being a student athlete? All right. Um, first I want to thank everybody who came out today. Uh, thank my family, my friends, my coaches, my teammates, uh, anybody, who pushed me or helped me become the better person. And uh, with that being said, for the next three to four years, I'll be committing to Notre Dame. applause linger for a little bit it's a big moment so no problem on that but you had some great choices there what was it about Notre Dame that made that so firm and made it a hundred percent the school you wanted to go to one sec can you, can you ask that again yeah what was it about Notre Dame that made you so sure that was the place you wanted to be um really just you know just a family just a family vibe it gave me you know the priority the priority they made me feel like I was 
and really it just being close to home, you know, me wanting to stay home, staying close to my support system, and you know, playing playing national uh playing national football close to home, you know, at a national level. And you know, I feel like it's better, you know, it's just better when it's home. It means more when it's home. And as we mentioned in the start, you can do a lot of things on the football field. What have they said the plan is for you as far as how they're going to use you and how you fit into what they do? Uh, I'll be I'll be going to Notre Dame to play free safety. And they will, they really, you know, they only just let me be an athlete. Let me roam. Let me be an athlete. Make plays. What's Coach Freeman like when you really get a chance to sit down and meet him and talk to him? Um, you know, he's a he's a great guy. He's a great, sincere guy. He's genuine. You know, he he wants the best for all of his players. He loves his players. And, you know, he's just a great guy for me to be around and a great mentor for me to be around to be a better football player and become the best human being I can be. And then the last question, the big one is, are you going to give up basketball or are you going to ask them to maybe walk on and try something at Notre Dame? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't stop hooping. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to see if something can work. But, uh, you know, if, if, if that doesn't work out, you know, I'm, I'm going to take the football route for sure. All right, Tay Tay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on the decision. Congratulations to your friends and family that are there. And uh, con once again, appreciate you sharing this day with us. Thank you. And there you have it, Notre Dame adds four-star in-state athlete Bronte Johnson. But as he mentioned, it's going to be free safety to start for him. And we're now going to bring in Irish Illustrated's Tom Loy to talk more about how he fits into the class. And Tom, we were together at Traction AP not too long ago and had a chance to see him play DB live. And I think it was apparent right away what kind of upside he has at that position. And it seems like once he showed that, Notre Dame also turned up the heat on him as a defensive back. Can you talk about his talents and how he fits into this class? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I got this rowback shirt with a bunch of dogs on it, and, and that's him. He, he's a dog. Um, he is a dog on both sides of the ball. One of the most talented football players I've come across in the 24 cycle, um, arguably the top overall player in the Hoosier State. Uh, just a really, really good athlete. You know, Marcus Freeman talked about trying to get really good football players. Obviously, you talk about the development and the upside of potential. But with Tay, it's all about guys that can play football at a high level. And, and he's a winner. He's a competitor. Um, he really is a do-it-all talent on both sides of the ball. But Chris O'Leary did a great job it's, as a safeties coach at Notre Dame. Targeted him, targeted him early, pushed hard for him. Uh, made him a priority. And, um, you know, between him and and the guys close to Tay that work out with him, that train him, everybody tells him that, you know, everybody talks about Jesse Bates being a guy from Fort Wayne that went on to the NFL and playing at a high level at the safety position. And there's a lot of people that think Tay can be even better than Jesse Bates. So everybody's excited about this win for Notre Dame. And, and like I said, this is, this is an elite talent and a massive get for Chris O'Leary, Al Golden, and of course, Marcus Freeman. Yeah, and as you alluded to, a guy who's played basketball, he's played wide receiver, just really starting to focus in on DB. And I think once he does that full time, in his potential is through the roof on that side of the ball. Now, looking at the Notre Dame class, uh, where are they at in the secondary and the back end where he fits? And then where are they at in general with this class? Yeah, I mean, I really like overall what they what they've done this cycle. They've added they've added pieces that that are, you know, guys that are not necessarily immediate difference makers, but they've landed talented players, but you know, really they still have room to grow. Like that's, that's the key here was you landed a piece in Bronte Johnson. That's going to kind of for them potentially skyrocket things moving forward. So that's really what's most important. Obviously they have, you know, Kennedy Erlacher already committed at the safety position, but, but they have more guys that they need to land. Um, that's really the key moving forward. And, you know, we talk about a guy like Davis Andrews, a safety out of Utah, and, and that's he's battling, you know, Notre Dame's battling Utah, BYU, and a few others. So that's the key. You got to land guys like that and really fill out this class because, um, you know, Tay's only one player in the back end, and but you you got to, you know, surround him with talented players. But again, when you look at the big picture, picture of this class, it's a top 10 class, top five class, and um, I think they're just scratching the surface to how how good this class really can be. Yeah, now if I'm reading this correctly, they are done with official visitors for the month of June, correct? No one nope. coming in this weekend. Um, but they've had quite a few in in June already, some big-name guys. Who, as we look kind of at the 
top of the national board. There are several guys who have been to Notre Dame, are still considering them. Who are some of the guys moving forward here that Irish fans need to be aware of still? I think uh, you and I have been asked about this guy a million times already, and, and everybody's going to be watching to see what five-star defensive tackle Justin Scott does. Um, you know, it's funny when you look at his recruitment early on, it was really Notre Dame and Ohio State as the teams to beat. Michigan was in there as well. Uh, and then it became a Georgia-Notre Dame battle. Then it became a Notre Dame-Miami battle. Um, my latest intel suggests that this is really a battle between Notre Dame and Michigan right now as the two schools that are at the top. Obviously, everybody else is in play, Miami, Georgia, Ohio State. But right now, my latest intel suggests that the Wolverines and the Fighting Irish are battling it out. Um, Al Washington, the defensive line coach at Notre Dame, is going to do all he can to get it done. Um, I believe he's going to take an official visit for the Ohio State game in September. Um, obviously, for Notre Dame fans, they want him to kind of drag it out to be able to take that official visit uh, to match and pair up with the other schools that he's already seen. So that'll be key. Um, but like I said, right, right now I'm watching Notre Dame and Michigan. Uh, Four-star offensive tackle, Gerby Lambert. I believe Notre Dame is the landing spot for him. But again, long way to go still. Boston College is in play. Ohio State's in play. So he's going to land at one of those three schools from, from what I've gathered. Um, a lot of people were talking about Penn State early on, but it seems like they might be out for him. Uh, the other guy we're watching is four-star tight end Carter Nelson. Nebraska, Georgia, Notre Dame, Penn State all in play. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Notre Dame here, but I haven't put a crystal ball pick in. Georgia has a ton of confidence. Notre Dame has confidence. So I'm kind of curious to see how things play out, but it doesn't seem like a decision has been made. Uh, most recently, Kingston Viliamu Asa, four-star linebacker out of California, was just in town for an official visit at Notre Dame, and, and it, it went great. It really couldn't have gone any better. And I believe that Notre Dame has put themselves in a position to land him. He was just at USC before Notre Dame. He's at Ohio State this weekend. And this is, in my opinion, a must-get for Notre Dame if you're trying to take that next step uh, as, a, as a team that can get to, but then also win a national championship. Kingston Villiamo Asa is an elite talent. So you land guys like him, Justin Scott, Bronte Johnson. I mean, those are difference makers on this, in, in this program. And like I said, these are the guys that Marcus Freeman, why he was named head coach. And he's the guy, these are the guys he needs to land. You know, who else is a dog? Tom Loy. Tom, thanks for joining us and enjoy this upcoming dead period. Thanks, Alan. Well, there you have it from Tom Loy. The Irish continue to add to a really, really good class here uh, for Marcus Freeman and company with in-state four-star Bronte Johnson, who is headed there to play safety. High upside guy. They were able to come in on him. Can He canceled a couple of official visits that he had and committed to the Irish. Really, really good pickup to the class. And as I just mentioned, the dead period is coming up. But there are plenty more uh, news and notes coming up. We have upcoming commitment announcements, so check our commitment board for that. Uh, we will have several of those live on 24-7 Sports, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on everything in the college football and college basketball world, as well as the latest recruiting news. For Tom Loy, for Alan True, for Bronte Johnson and his family and friends, thanks for joining us.